I'm going to basically share with you some of the few things that will help you in this thread to be successful and without making much losses. Now, I quickly want to share this with you because it's going to be of a great strength and uh, power to you. When we talk about candlestick, moving averages, price action, support zone and resistance zone, demand zone, all the rest of them, it becomes impossible for people to see it and start making use of it. Now, the question is, even if I don't know all those things, is there any little thing I can do that can help me to be trading at least, making at least $5 every single day or making $2 every single day? Then the question they are, they are asking is still the same way because daily, day in, day out, the same mistake is repeating itself. Sometimes you believe that once you are done with this, that you will come out successfully and everything will start working as planned. But all to now, well, every attempt you have made to make profit is proving abortive. So what can I do? Now follow me as I add up those things for someone who just, who just asked me. And please, when you are adding indicators, please help us to get this thing straight because we are not getting it, especially in this latest uh, updated version of the um, MT5, which is Meta Trader 5 that we don't easily understand it. So please follow this procedure. This is where it is right now as we speak. So touch that place. If you touch that place, it remains the same place, the F plus, which is the circle plus, which you will see the main chart by the side, which is the main of the side. Then in this place, is where we'll be adding all the indicators we we'll see as indicator window one, as indicator window two. All of them are what we have that are done there. So it's important for you to have each and every one of them. So you'll be asking, how can I add them? Now, I want to add moving average. So when you want to add moving average, you search for the moving average in this place because this is where the moving average is. You have trend, we have oscillators. We have so many of them. So we have volumes. We have William, uh, B. Williams and uh, so on and so forth. Inside every one of them are stuff made to be used to trade on MT5, which are some of the stuff that you can use to determine the move of the candle or, or whatever you whatever you desire to use it for. So that is your own business. All right. So by default, if you touch it for the first time or you just download it or you're just a newbie is by default, if you touch it, it's going to have something like this by default. When I mean by default, it means the way they set it the first time when they launched it, how it appeared in every screen. So it appears as period 10, shift zero, simple method and apply to close. So all those things are there. So, but we that have been trading, we don't trade the same way. So this time we can change it. So when you want to change the period, just tap that place, just touch it. It's going to change. You just click to delete some of them and add the number, the period of your choice. Then this shift is can is shiftable. You can apply it. You can delete it also and add any number you want. But I want to leave it as default zero. Then when it comes to method, if you touch that place that is method, this place, it will open for itself. Then we'll have simple, we'll have exponential, we'll have smoothed, and we have linear weighted. So I touch exponential because that is what I choose. When you talk about apply to close, we have um, close, open, high, low, medium price, typical price. We have weighted close. So personally, what I'm using is close. So the one I want. I touch it so I choose to close I choose to close it so that is my choice so here you choose any color of your choice if you touch it the color will come out by itself so you touch it so any one you choose but I will advise if you are using white color use any color that will help you to see it visibly don't use any color that will make you to be searching or you are looking for the moving average because if you make it to be hidden it's of no use to you because if it cannot serve you that means it's useless so that is what you have you can see it as i have pressed on it appears in this place and when you open your main chart look at the white so which means that whatever you are seeing here 
stands for that moving average so someone asked me a question i am i am trying to add up the same moving average on my own thing it's not working the same way you, you showed it why are you deceiving people i said no i'm not deceiving you just that you are missing something you need to apply something so please if you want to add up the same moving average another moving average in the same chart please it's very very simple i know that some of you who are my followers for some time now you have had grown those things but please bear with me because i need to introduce this to some of our newbies who just joined forest newly so if you follow the same procedure again you will still find it that same way so this time you touch that place you remember that by default we had 10 but this time i added the first moving average as 12 so the second moving average i'm about to add is 21. so since you have changed this thing if you apply the same color which is the style if you apply it, it will show the same thing. So it will not be difficult for you to determine the one that is 12 and the one that is 21. So what you do is you choose a color that can be visible. The color that you can see. The first one I used was white. So this time I want to go with this. So I touch here. Have you seen it? How to know that what you added have applied is that it will come up in two positions. Like we have this one. This is the 12 and this one is the 21 so this is what we have on the this, this so let me go back and show you have you seen it so the one i have the white one is 12 the gold line is the moving average 21 so for clarity purpose i have to change this one to something visible so so that anywhere i set anywhere i set my eyes on it i'll be able to see it so i have two moving averages on my line now on my main chart remember that whatever you have in this place is called the main chart so we now have to add another thing in our window so how do you create a window for you to host a window you must look for you must look for a place that will control it just a window if you see it. so what we do now you have a lot of things you can use you have relative strength index we have um, relative ego we have stochastic oscillator winners percentage uh, percent range so what i'll be applying is relative strength index and by default it's 14 so this time i'll be making this thing to be my background color then and i will change the pz to be one why should i do that because it helps me to see it has to deduce the uh, the grip behind it so this time I'll be applying this thing to train so i will apply to close if you check it it will come up like this so if you if you have something like this is how you should apply this one like this but i want to add lines i want to add lines here i want to add lines here and i want to reduce this thing this thing i want to reduce it i want to make this one to be 80 90 and make this one 30 10 so to our newbies please follow this procedure is the best way and the way we we'll do it so where do you add that is in the level so when you touch the level if you touch the level like this then you touch the plus sign this plus sign here touch it if you want to delete all that you have already touch the delete this thing so if you touch here, your market you delete all so if you add here one two three four five so if i want to do it and i'm not i want to as i'm doing it now follow the procedure so um i want to add the first one 90 then you go over to the next one you add 80 go over to the next one i add 50 go over to the next one i add 20 this time i add 10 that is what we'll have then for you to make that line to be a little bit bold then you have to change the style which is the pizza I change the pizza to be two so that it will be visible for me then apply to close now do you see what we have here i've been i've successfully added those things so that i would detect it so that when you are talking about oversold and overbought you'll be able to see when the lines have touched the 50 and the lines have touched the 20 the line have touched the 90 and the line have also touched the 80 moving averages or whatever you are using so that you will know that the market is oversold and from there you can be you can easily make a move and take a decision that will, you will not regret all right so when we have this thing how do we add up something again 
then this time we'll be adding um i want to add the macd on that so how do you add the macd in the same relative strength index that what we have here you touch this place remember the first one this is where you touched but this time we are touching the indicator window one which is the sub doors that gives you access to the main chart now i will be adding my macd this macd i want to be using the default macd so this time the main i'll be changing it to something blue like this then i'll be changing the color to be the pizza to be two then i press done have you seen it in this window we have relative strength index and we have macd please follow these procedures and for someone from india you asked me um to help you to put up those things that you don't use smartphone that you only use system please this is how we we'll do it in the smartphone all right follow the procedure i know you watch this video and i know you are watching the video so please follow the procedure as i am doing now so that because i want to bring intensively how we we'll do it and it's going to be of a great help and a very a very vital information to you so add up these things like this it's going to help you so see how it appears this is how it appears in this place can you see it this is how it appears so we are going to add something else in the same relative strength index which is the host of the window one this time i'll be adding moving average i will not add moving average 21 this time i'll be adding moving average 12 then i'll be adding up a color that will be visible for me to see it's my choice i added this moving average now so this is what i have on my screen here the indicator window one this is what i have you look at it this is what i have here this is what i have can you see it this is what i have in this place so i can use this thing alone like this without any challenge i can use it with for the benefit of that for the benefit of those who are so confused who don't know what to do who don't know how to use this thing please um okay you can use this one like this it's of a great help and it will help you to trade accurately when i said accurately i mean accurately so where and where can i use this strategy to trade if you are struggling to trade you don't know how to make at least five dollars two dollars one dollar please use this strategy it's going to be of a great help and assistant to you and how do i use that number one when you zoom out completely like this when you zoom out like this you will notice that what the market looks like in form of like in, in, in shape like this is not the same when it comes to something like this so making it in making it difficult for people to see the accurate move of the market but i'm going to show you something look at this please follow this let me use the current market now so that you will not say that you only you only talk about past let me show you this now when you have a market that looks like this from this very corner now this yellow line first touched the 90 levels you see why we place the line and the whole the histogram line of the macd the histogram line is that blue line the histogram changed over from 50 this is the normal settings this is how the this thing should be the histogram line appears on the 50 lines so that's why i also add that 50 in our level so for some of you who don't know that is why we applied it because 50 is when the market goes from this angle it is above the 50 which is 51 52 when it comes down like this it's going from 50 to 10 do you get that it's going from 50 to 10 so when the histogram change their shape and remains in a direction that is above the 50 we change that we say that the histogram have changed the direction to move uptrend but the, the histogram cannot just change in that direction without first coming up from this angle. So when you want to do your Skyping, when you want to focus on trading and be taking like 10 Ps, 15 Ps, 30 Ps, and all the rest of them, there are simple things you should lay your eyes on. There are basic things you should lay your eyes on. Number one of them is to check your higher time frame. What is the candle saying in the higher time frame? What candle is trending in the higher time frame? Is the candle trending a bullish? Is the candle trending a bearish? So if the candle is bearish, which means you should be looking out for a spike, 
and if you are trending on bullish on crash on each of the crash which means you should be expecting to do your skyping so which means you'll be taking some peas which means you'll be trying to get the market why it is rising why catching a spike is when the market will drop like what you are seeing presently now the market is dropping what this thing did now is to spike so now when we have such a thing the next thing you will consider is remember that the first thing you should check is to see the condition of the market from the higher time frame then the next thing you should consider is your zoom level why the zoom level it helps you to determine i mean to determine the position of your moving averages and your MACD, both on the main chart and indicator window one why must you do that because if you don't follow these trends it will be difficult for you to identify the pure move of the market that will be to your own benefit remember every move of the market is, a, is an opportunity but not all the opportunities are for forever and sometimes one of the things i've come to realize that have been affecting people in the system of trending is that they have seen that this thing have been spiking they have been seeing that this thing has been dropping so they say ah since it has been dropping for this period of time it will still drop it's going to continue and another thing is that what i showed you about this very thing you are seeing here is that when you don't know that this thing have uh, it have been buying for a period of time making it to be on the blue color making it to be plus four plus five like we normally have it on the boom 300 or boom 500 or all the rest of them boom 300 and boom 500 like we, we, we normally have so you know i don't easily trade that particular market because of each challenge so like we have here now or like we have here and uh, please before i continue please remember of the adjustment made in the loss size remember of the adjustment made in the loss size please remember it's very very important you should remember those things so that like what we have here now please sorry if i'm if i'm digressing like what you have here now you see that the lowest loss size that they have here now is only about one dollar zero zero cents so if you are to trade with boom 300 that the cheapest loss size you can use is one dollar so when you want to trade boom and crash and you want to trade crash boom 300 please be very very careful because imagine when you have ten dollars in your account fifteen dollars twenty dollars in your account and you are risking one dollar to the detriment of your account you know that it may be so dangerous so that is why personally what i normally do is to be very very careful like i can trade it like now i have placed my trade like right now i can place trade and be watching it it will not affect me if the market spike i take if the market did not spike i take because i have my account look at look at what i have as balance so before the market will fluctuate and keep me out of the market i have taken my decisions already so when you have this type of market you need to be very very when i say very very careful you need to be extremely careful so that you not make some careless mistakes you will regret so but you have other things you can trade something like boom 500 that you can use your 20 cents to trade so that you can grow your account when you must have grown your account you will place your trade now let me go back to what i'll say so please just be very very careful when it comes to that type of trade all right just be very 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 very, very careful so when you want to place a trade that you are not sure of be careful of the loss size you are using did you see it it has dropped did you see it so be careful of what you are using be careful of what you are using so why should i close this thing now i have to close it because it has this power to stop at the resistance zone as the support zone this area so and beside i am talking i need to concentrate and i need to concentrate and move up with what i have at hand that is how we roll all right that is how we roll so if i should if i should hold on for this trade i have to wait to see a breakout from here then from there 
I will enter to do my business as normal as supposed. All right. So that is what we have. So as I was saying earlier, as I was saying earlier wrong. So how do I use this thing? Zoom out your market completely. Why do you need to zoom out to help you see the clear move of the market? Please permit me to go back to the permit me to go back to crash 1000 to help me all right so to help you see the clear trend of the market and what are the things you should look at for when it comes to this type of trade one watch when the two lines have come to watch when the history MACD lines have touched the histogram line have touched the 10 levels i mean for skyping and watch when it have touched this area for you to catch your spike. So once you have seen that, I mean, when zooming out, why must you zoom out like this? Because any opportunity you see, anytime you notice that when you zoom out that the market touched in this area, the market touched in this area, and don't zoom out and be shifting. If you zoom out, you keep it like this. Just shift it like this to see how the market is positioned do you see that so when such thing happen like what you are seeing here now when this thing happened it gives you a clear opportunity to know that this market has been on a downtrend that is about to move up that is number two then the number three is this what time frame should i use to trade with this strategy Number one, when you visit your higher time frame to see the candle that is trending, then you come back and trade using your five minutes and your one minute candle. Now listen to me. In fact, if I'm to name this strategy, I will say that this strategy is one minute and five hours magic. One minute and five one minute and five minutes magic strategy because it works like magic. Now, why must you zoom out this market to be sure? If you zoom this market like this, this is what you will see presently. But when you zoom out, you will know that of a truth that this thing is happening at the upper side of the market, that this market has the, the possibilities of coming down. And if you do that, you will now see of a truth that the moving average you have is not resting in this position as so to say. Do you get that now? Then it helps you to see the restructures of the MACD to know that what you are seeing is different of what is going on. So why must you zoom out? You must need to zoom out like this for you to see the real positions of these things. But you must not be deceived to know that the market is on the uptrend. So whatever that happens in this position determines either the market will come down or it will continue. So when you have seen this, you now zoom to zoom two or zoom three for you to now take a decision based on what you are seeing in the current zoom position. So once you have seen that, any cross like this is an opportunity like it cross here. This is where the market is and will continue to drop until you get to this very place. Why I will not trade this is because I'm talking. I need to concentrate. I need to focus on what I am doing. Like what we have in this place. Like what we have in this place. Did you see that it did not spike again? So if I leave that market by now, this is why that one dollar something I get will have been a loss by now. So it's very simple for you to think and use their mind to get. I mean, as simple as that. Just follow it and understand that this market you are seeing is not as simple as you are taking it to be. Do you get that? There are certain things that ordinarily we don't know that they are real. You get that? We don't know that they are real, but when you follow it squarely, you understand that of the truth, that market works in different ways. Do you get that? So that is how the market moves. And that is how we roll. So try this. And if you want to be successful using this, I want to give you one advice, please. If you want to do Skyping and be successful in your Skyping, look out for opportunities in Boom 1000. Why? Because when you are doing your skyping in boom 1000 when 1000 want to move it can take one can one and boom 1000 can skype for 60 candles in one minute time frame it can skype for 30 minutes 
it can it can sky for i mean look at it look at look at so imagine that you find this opportunity to trend in this area you know some people will not like what i'm saying imagine you find out this opportunity to skype in this very area do you think do you know what that means look at it before you get to this point where the market will spike you already in money then the question is how then do i find such opportunity to trade with when you zoom out completely like what we have here now or it like what you have in this market already now when you zoom out completely like this when you zoom out it will not help you to see that of a true that the market is going down which means the market is on a bearish move so you go to one minute time frame draw push this thing to be in the minimal side so if you see that the you now see that the histogram is at this point of 90 which means it will not add any other thing then and you watch once this thing has started happening like this it gives you an opportunity to see that the market is coming up then before even before the agreement here you have started entering then luckily for you if the 90 if the if the yellow line touches the 90 and the histogram touch the 90 that is where you will see that everything is working as planned then by so doing you can place your trade without anyone arguing with you i don't know if this video will make sense to you and i believe that it will already is already making sense to you because at least most of you that are asking questions how do i do this thing try this i mean try this it's possible it's simple it's simple now don't try this on your main account if you are not used to these things try it on your demo if you try this on your demo it will surprise you the magic you will be seeing in your results then if what i'm saying is totally confusing to you you don't understand it you don't know what i'm saying please 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 look for a mentor gdfs must not be your mentor there are other good people out there who can do well even do better than me so if you don't trust us don't come to us don't come to challenge us we are not in any competition we are in anybody and don't if someone have trained you and that person didn't give you what you want don't try to compare us with that person because we have different knowledge there are people who tread only trend lines there are people who tread candlestick pattern so anyone one is using and that person is, is successful that is his business and if you can learn from that person from that angle and do and be successful also that is the outcome we are looking for so don't fall victim of thinking that that person must behave like that one that you know for that person to prove to you that he's genuine my name is gdfx at least i have a good number of people i'm training and i'm sure that at least 60 percent of of people i'm training 60 if i'm not too, too wrong 60 if not above is doing well when i say 60 i know that no matter the amount at least at least 60 percent of them have returned have come back and say thank you thank you some of them have said if i had known you earlier the morning i wasted i wouldn't have done that so that is how we roll so learn trade and if you are from the western um pakistan and uh, india and all the rest of them and you are watching my video please i beg you look for one that will train you on mentorship because the way we are trading boom and crash is not the same way you trade currency you know and that is where the problem is so you have this mindset of trading with um boom and crash with pattern you traded currency and that is why a good number of them are losing their trade good number of them are losing their trade so you can contact me i will be of a great assistant to you but remember that outside the videos you are watching here and few questions you can ask me on channel on my whatsapp group if you are looking for mentorship i will charge you that's number one no knowledge is free number two if anyone called you that his gdfs that um, i'm selling strategy i've never sold strategy to anyone and i will never do that and the only channel that i have where i draw free signals at will is on telegram group so if you have not joined the telegram group please join that telegram group and join us once in a while you will see free signal i didn't charge anybody in that place so just stay there 
you will find something that will interest your heart once upon a time. And believe me that people have made money in that place. And at like presently now, I'm a little bit silent because I'm trading on my own because the market is not moving the direction that I can tell someone to place trade so that someone will not say that I have cost him his money.